Hello and welcome back to my well, something I don't know what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> sort of supposed to be in film and all this. Should be done soon. But anyway, we are gonna be continue the spell cut. You can't like, like drift on purpose to lose the red shells, so losing red shells was so much total. But on the other hand, I don't I do it for 50 I was doing it for 50 cc of the wheel wheel. And it was so easy to get these shows the reason why because the back button that uh, you you to use the drift. You know they can use one by using the back button, the B button. See that was to hold your item. When you choose, when you choose on that. So it's like, woo! Yeah. But just, but just like, I guess, look, this is like, bro, it's so weird. And also, you can get, and also, like, with the bikes, you can get out of a wheelie as fast as you can. See, like, the way that I get out of the way is I hop because I need to be drifting. No, 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 no. Uh. Oh, what? Once I 
again here and then full fill! I barely beat his time. There's like a photo finish there. Oh, Maple Cherry, one of my favorite courses in Mario Kart Wii. I'm glad that he turned to Mario Kart 7, so. Because the, th the effect of the leaves falling in Mario Kart 7, it's just like great. Yeah, what about the. I wonder if Mario Kart 8 is still gonna act up with Volcano 2 or something. Or not. Because that'll actually make a good stage to add, because. The rest of them will be pretty much normal. And they're just not going to add the Wii Game by Game code to the next one. I think it's, I'm thinking it's either going to be the 64 one or the DS one. Or maybe just the Game Boy one, I don't know. I never played the Game Boy one, so. Well, I have played, but it's like, eh. Like, I don't know how to. We do it from Mario Kart 8. Yeah, baby. Get off the wall! Get off the wall! Is that it? Instead of get out, instead of get out of the way, it's get off the wall! Get off the wall! I don't know how that angry works. Let's bend your arm. Oh, crap, I was about to say, medium just just helps so much on the Which it does, but, um. I don't know, I'm thinking anymore. My, get, my mind's going all over the place. Yeah, if you want the, um, whoa, get a triple story ring. See, I got a gallo story ring, so I don't care if I suck now. Anyway, I, but anyway, if you want to get the fish story ranking, you have to ignore items up there. Even if you have, even if you didn't have any items, the block, you still have to ignore them. So you want to get a triple story ranking for us? You have to do a perfect, and you also have to finish it in the store amount of time, too. But you have to be fast, you can just be like, just barely being them. Even if you're in court on the way, that's only two stars. But, but, also, there's something like, you could, 
And also that's like what made Hoda. It impacted your defense too. It was never like the only way like, win to get you for ranking was you pretty much just had to defend. You didn't have to attack at all. I think if you was I think if you threw like too many shells of bananas or something like that, it would actually lower your skulls of uh, like if you get to the range of You just have to keep checking behind you to see the capital people. Whoa, what? <sighs> it was such a hard time. But after I got out of the ranking on all course and I was jump star ranking on jump star ranking online, what did I learn? I wasted so much of my time. I just get star ranks like on Mario 7 because oh, I just want to start to just get the coin wheels faster. <laughs> but get, like, what, I think it's because Mario we okay, was my first online game. Hmm. Well, it technically it was my first online game, but it was like one of the few online games I had. That actually played a lot. So yeah, so I wouldn't feel like all those great people getting the triple star game. And the and when I first had the triple star game, when I go online, I got my feet all up to nine thousand five hundred something. And then and then and I just, this is starting to get boring. So and then I still like with the Wii Wheel too. I had that high of a score. And then, a couple years later, come back to it, I'm down to like 5,000 beyond now, I think. Yeah. I was once good. Oh, uh, those like, uh, the kid, I was so good at games like when I was a kid. Like with Mario Strikers Challenge. I actually made the leaderboard for like the top 10 online. See, that was my first online game, but it's just like. I didn't count as like that much of an online game. Because they say like when you finish the match, it just takes you back to the online main menu. So, unlike like this, like. Like there's like when you have a key that you can continue, you can like quit now and like whenever you want to. So in a way, this is like the first game that I played that did online right. That's what I'm trying to say. Whoa! Ah! I could have done the stupid little cheat that what you do is if you get onto on the floor of the wall, you still go around it three times to finish the whole race. But I think that'd be too much of cheating. I never, I never did that in Mario Kart 64, but that was in Mario Kart 64, and I didn't play. And I, I don't think I played first. I think my score is too low. If I maybe got second, third. Yep, third. Oh, this is still place. It's not like uh, the other Mario Kart like when I didn't place. Oh, this is not good. Drifting challenge! Woo! We're the cool people. Okay, yeah. That's the Star Cup of Mario Kart Wii. And see you guys for the special cup of Mario Kart Wii. It's special.